Hello everybody and welcome to this new video tutorial where I want to demonstrate a new feature of Model Converter X. With this new feature you can now read the aircraft.cfg file um, of aircraft models. Let's just um, get started by showing you how it works. If you click on the import button uh, you'll see that aircraft.cfg file is in a new option here in the uh, list of file formats that are supported and then you can select the CFG file uh, of a specific aircraft. So let's just load the default ultralight aircraft here. Uh, before Model Converter X could of course already read aircraft files uh, but then it would read the model file, the MDL file directly and it would guess some of the information that's in the aircraft.cfg file for example liveries. Uh, before Model Converter X had a rather crude way to just check which different texture folders existed and that those would be uh, shown as possible liveries. Now with this new feature where the aircraft.cfg file is actually read, the liveries are based on the settings in the CFG file. So as you can see here, uh, the model has now loaded and basically as before you'll have different textures you can, liveries you can select um, based on the settings in the CFG file and you might also have seen that multiple objects were loaded you can switch between the exterior and the interior model as well because they are both loaded from the CFG file so this is the interior model with the virtual cockpit you can see it also in the name has interior in the name and you can go to the exterior model as well. Um, so compared to before you should get more accurate liveries now and it should be easier to load everything from an aircraft. But there's another new feature like a kind of bonus. Uh, the aircraft.cfg file can also define certain points like lights or uh, contact points or uh, those kind of stuff. Model Converter X can also read and show those. So if you press the icon here with the aircraft on it, then you'll get uh, points sh shown from the aircraft.cfg file. And that way you can sort of visually inspect if they're okay or not. Um, Model Converter X cannot uh, modify these points at the moment. Um, that's something that doesn't really fit within the uh, and within the features of, of this tool. Uh, there's a lot of information in the CFG file that Model Converter X has, has no awareness of. Um, but you can modify the file in your own text editor, your external editor, and then if you reload the model in Model Converter X, you'll see the updated locations. If I go to the hierarchy editor, and I'll put it over here, then you'll see that the different CFG points are shown in the hierarchy editor as well and I can click on them and then they get highlighted in red so here is a light for example uh, which is a cockpit light which has a certain effect attached to it uh, you can see the different attach points uh, sorry context points for wheels uh, and scrape points also the location of the fuel tank and the engine which is defined in the CFG file can be visualized uh, so hopefully that's useful uh, for debugging purposes to see what's going on and there's a station load point as well some of these points like if I select the engine for example you don't really see them well uh, that's because they can be inside the model but if I go to the wireframe view even then it's a bit tricky but you might see the red <laughs> the red point just in between here where the mouse is uh, it's a bit tricky to see let's go back to the normal rendering mode again so that's a very quick view of uh, what you can do with, with this new feature I want to show you one more model to you know, make you really aware of, uh, of the new features then we'll go to the Mooney Bravo and if you look here, you see there are two models defined. There's a model and a model uh, G1000, which has an additional uh, GPS, I think, installed in the cockpit. But if I now load 
this aircraft CFG file, you'll see in the event log here below that four models got actually loaded. And then we have to wait till till they're finished. But if we go to the object list, you see there are multiple entries now for the interior and the exterior model. And you see this one, which is the G1000 one, which you can't see in the name unfortunately. Has only one livery, the G1000. And the other exterior model It's a little bit slow here because I'm running on battery while recording this uh, this tutorial. Has more liveries to choose from. So there you can see that different liveries have been assigned to different models and before you could select every model uh, every livery on every possible model in Model Converter X, but now it works as it should. Um, maybe one more thing that's interesting to have a look at. Um, if I go to airplanes and I, for example, pick the MD-83, which is an AI aircraft, but uh, the concept also applies to, uh, to other aircraft, of course. Then another type of a point that you can see is the exit. And in this long list you can search with the search box as, as, as was already possible. Uh, but you can also search for names of, of the CFG points. So if I type exit, I get the CFG exit, which is located over here, which is where the door is. And this is the point that is actually used by the uh, inverse kinematic jetway to find the door of your aircraft. So I hope uh, this new feature is useful. I think it's mainly useful for people who are making uh, repaints or uh, creating aircraft. Uh, if there are any uh, suggestions on how to make it even more useful or if you find any bugs, uh, please post them on the forum. And I hope you enjoy this new feature.